Hey everyone, it is early June. We are on Clear Lake. So this is part of the Chain of Lakes. It's actually called Chain of Lake. You got Chain of Lake, McMahon, Island Lake, and Clear Lake. So we're here staying at the Backwoods Resort and we're just kind of hitting all four of these lakes. So we just did McCann Lake, so be sure to check that one out. And now we're on Clear Lake. It's about seven o'clock, right? Anyway, it's gonna get dark soon, but this is supposed to be a muskie and walleye lake. And it's super deep out there. It's only like 90, 95 acres or something. Not real big of a lake, but it's really deep in the middle and then around the edges, it's not too bad. So we're gonna try for some muskie and walleye tonight. And if we fail at that, maybe some panfish, who knows? Anyway, that's Reggie right there. My name's Randy, we're watching Go Midwest Fishing. splash right over there. Yeah. That'll be a first stop I think. It's probably a bass but I'll check it out. Yep, it's not a bluegill. Maybe, maybe not. It's a walleye. No, it's a bass. It's a bass. Third guess. All right, first fish in Clear Lake is a largemouth bass. Caught him on a leech and bobber. And you, do you even make the tape? Oh, 10 inches. Yeah, well, there you go. See what they are. I think they're just little bluegills, aren't they? Yeah, actually not too bad of a bluegill. Nice. Check out that sunset, isn't that pretty? Just the most beautiful night. It's about 70 degrees, just a light breeze, nice calm waters, and uh, so we just fished McCann Lake over there and coming into Clear Lake, I noticed the water is much clearer. It's like, that's probably why they call it Clear Lake. But anyway, you can see down, we're in eight feet of water right now. And you can see down at the bottom, they got nice tall cabbages come up. It looks like the perfect spot for some nice fish to hide. Uh, right now we're just bobber fishing. I got a leech on, he's got a honey worm on and he caught a bluegill. So we're still uh, hoping a walleye will bite. I did catch that bass on the leech back there, but so far no sign of muskie or walleye. He's on number two. Yep. Just a little female bluegill. Huh? All right, time for me to catch one. He's outdoing me on this lake so far. Two. two to nothing. No, I'm two to one. I got one. My one bass is as big as bull. Oh, there he goes. Jeez. Lake looks, this lake looks really good. It's really deep in the middle, but on the edges it's, you know, five, ten feet again and nice tall cabbage weeds. And it's super clear. I love that one. See it? <laughs> I've got one right here. Catch one right off the end of the boat, my bobber. And wiggle it. <laughs> wiggle it. Oh, dang it, I missed him. Just had it hanging overboard. <laughs> 
No, they're in here. Oh, big swirls. I don't know if it was a bunch of them or just one huge one. Oh, what was it? I know I had a couple waves at it. Northern? Yeah. Must have been. So I felt it. And then it was going in. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. Got it. Not sure what it is. It's a good one, whatever it is. Yeah. Shoot. What do I got? Might need a net. Yeah, get a net. Oh, it's a bass. Come here. We got him. Come here, buddy. Well, you never know. On a leech, it could be anything, really. We'll call him a 10. Alright, so I'm the king of 10 inch bass today, I guess. Well, it's a fish. Better not catching fish. <laughs> one makes it oh no <laughs> that was at least it floats well you know it's your first day you gotta work out all the kinks <laughs> look at that isn't that a nice little tree and he lives right here in this brush. <laughs> really meant to be, man. Uh, <laughs> don't break it in the tree. That's a far reach. Oh, we do have that pole here. We can try to get it. It was. It's like as soon as I get it tied oh, on, yeah. it's the very next cast. <laughs> I get it in a tree. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. <laughs> oh. there, he caught a tree. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think it was coming out of there. No. At least you could reach it. Ooh, what was that? No. Fish? <laughs> Me. Yeah, like, hey, I was here. You didn't yeah. catch me. Well, at least, you know, you caught a nice oak. Yeah. So, you know, you got a good tree at least. Should have caught more plants today than I've caught anything. Oh, might as well try for a muskie before we leave. Because we go big or we go home. And we're about to go home. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's it? It's a it's a big plant. Strong one though. Well, it started moving around, and I was like, "Wait a minute!" Well, we figured out the problem. It's a full moon tonight, it's causing all kinds of problems. But it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be good fishing on a full moon. It's almost night time. We'll probably head in here before it gets dark, but this is just, I said, it's kind of a small lake. It's easy to fish. Beautiful shorelines. Super clear water. Nice weeds. Just, uh, you know. I know. I don't want to go in yet, but I don't want to go in when it's pitch black either. Uh, yeah. 
nice part of the I said the chain of lake, chain lake and McCann and Island and whatever, all those lakes join together. So if you want to fish this lake, you actually get here through uh, chain lake. You just go through a little channel. Otherwise you can go to that uh, landing down there we saw earlier. So uh, yeah, I could spend some more time here, but you know, we don't have time because we are on a mission to fish every single lake in Minnesota and Wisconsin. And uh, hopefully this week we'll fish at least eight of them. So we got some work to do. Um, we're fishing these other lakes here tomorrow and the next day. So if you see, once we get those done, you'll see those uh, pop up here on the screen. So be sure to check out those as well. In the meantime, we'll see you on our next lake. Bye everyone. Mm-hmm. <laughs>